This video experiment is a qualitative experiment that looks at the reactivity and solubility of different metal ions. Throughout this experiment, different metal ion solutions will be reacted with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, potassium chromate, and sodium hydroxide solutions. Overall, by seeing the reaction patterns and determining how many times each different metal ion reacts, you can get a sense of which ions are more reactive and which ions are more, are more soluble. This can then be based on their location within the periodic table. The first reaction is with aluminum nitrate, looking at the reactivity of the aluminum ion. Overall, the aluminum ion forms a white precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, and a slight precipitate with sodium hydroxide. It also forms a golden precipitate with potassium chromate. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, and sodium sulfate. The next reactions are those of the barium ion. The barium ion forms a white precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide. It also forms a pale yellow precipitate with potassium chromate. And there is no reaction with sodium nitrate and sodium chloride. The next ion to observe is the cadmium ion. Overall, the cadmium ion forms a white precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide, and a very slight orange precipitate with potassium chromate. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, or sodium sulfate. The next reaction set to observe are the reactions of the calcium ion. Overall, the calcium ion reacts to form a white precipitate 
with sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium sulfate, and potassium chromate. The next ion to react is the lead ion. The lead ion forms a white precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide, as well as an intense yellow precipitate with potassium chromate. The next metal ion to observe is the reaction with magnesium ion. With magnesium, there is a slight white precipitate with sodium carbonate and a white precipitate that forms with sodium phosphate and sodium hydroxide. There is no precipitate formation with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium sulfate, or potassium chromate. The next ion to observe is the mercury ion. The mercury ion forms an orange precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide, a yellow precipitate with sodium sulfate, and a red precipitate with potassium chromate. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate or sodium chloride. The next reactions set to observe are the reactions of the potassium ion. For the potassium ion, there are no observed reactions with any of the reactants. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, potassium chromate, or sodium hydroxide. The next ion to observe the observations for is the silver ion, which is uniquely reactive. <laughs> 
overall, the silver ion forms a white precipitate with sodium chloride and sodium carbonate, a yellow precipitate with sodium phosphate, a red precipitate with potassium chromate, and a brown precipitate with sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate or sodium sulfate. The next metal ion to observe reactions for is the sodium ion. The sodium ion does not react with any of the solutions. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium carbonate, sodium sulfate, potassium phosphate, potassium chromate, or sodium hydroxide. The next ion to observe is the strontium ion. The strontium ion forms a white precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide, and a slight precipitate with sodium sulfate. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, or potassium chromate. The last metal ion to observe are the reactions of the zinc ion. Overall, the zinc ion forms a white precipitate with sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, and sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium sulfate, or potassium chromate. Using the different observations of the known metal ions, you can then identify the compound of your unknown based on the precipitation patterns.